In a world where societal norms and expectations often dictate the trajectory of our lives, one can't help but wonder, have we lost our true selves in the relentless pursuit of conformity? Have we turned into mere sheep, following the herd without question, devoid of our authentic essence? Are we merely playing roles assigned to us, or is there a deeper, more authentic self waiting to be discovered and expressed? This is the idea behind the Ubermensch, a central concept behind the philosophy of Friedrich Nietzsche. Nietzsche's notion of the Ubermensch transcends conventional morality, which typically categorizes actions and intentions into good and evil. According to Nietzsche, these categories are often subjective and constructed by society to maintain order and control. The Ubermensch, in this context, challenges and re-evaluates these imposed moral values, seeking a personal set of values that resonate with their individual essence and life experiences. This transcendence is not about the rejection of all values, but about critically examining and choosing which values to embrace based on one's own lived experience and insight, rather than uncritically accepting societal norms. For example, where society might value humility and self-denial, the Ubermensch might find greater value in self-expression and assertiveness, seeing them as more aligned with their intrinsic nature and personal growth. This idea encourages individuals to question and assess the moral frameworks they inherit and live within, urging a more personal and authentic engagement with ethics. It's about understanding that what society deems good or bad is often more about power dynamics and less about universal truth. The Ubermensch navigates this terrain with a sense of personal responsibility and introspection, crafting a moral compass that is deeply personal and continuously evolving. This concept also invites reflection on how societal norms can stifle individual potential and creativity. The Ubermensch represents a figure who, through their critical engagement with morality, unleashes their creative forces to live a life that is truly their own unencumbered by arbitrary moral constraints. This aspect of Nietzsche's philosophy emphasizes the importance of self-examination and courage in the face of societal pressures, advocating for a life that is authentic and self-determined. The concept of self-overcoming is central to Nietzsche's idea of the Ubermensch, emphasizing an ongoing process of growth and transformation. This notion entails a continuous journey of challenging oneself, pushing beyond personal boundaries, and evolving beyond one's current state. The Ubermensch embodies the ideal of perpetual self-transcendence, where the individual is always in the process of becoming, never settling into complacency or conformity. Self-overcoming involves a rigorous examination of one's beliefs, behaviors, and values questioning and discarding those that are found to be limiting or inauthentic. This process is not just about improving oneself in a conventional sense, but about a profound transformation that touches the core of one's being. For instance, someone might move beyond societal or self-imposed limitations around what is achievable in their career, or they might transcend inherited prejudices and cultivate a more inclusive and compassionate worldview. The Ubermensch, in this sense, does not accept their current state as a finality, but views it as a stepping stone for further growth. This relentless pursuit of self-improvement and self-transformation is driven by a deep desire to realize one's fullest potential, not just for personal gain, but as an expression of life itself. Moreover, self-overcoming is not a solitary or selfish endeavor. It can inspire others to embark on their paths of growth and transformation, creating a ripple effect that elevates the collective human experience. By embodying this ideal, the Ubermensch serves as a beacon of potentiality, showing that humans are capable of extraordinary metamorphoses when they commit to the arduous task of self-reflection and self-transcendence. This aspect of Nietzsche's philosophy challenges individuals to confront their deepest fears, limitations, and insecurities, encouraging a life lived with vigor, courage, and a relentless pursuit of growth. It's about embracing change, not as a threat, 
but as an opportunity for profound personal development and self-realization. Through this lens, life becomes an exciting journey of continual self-discovery and transformation, where each individual has the potential to forge their unique path and contribute to the unfolding tapestry of human evolution. The Übermensch stands as a profound archetype of value creation, rejecting passive acceptance of societal norms to actively forge a unique set of values. This creation is not an arbitrary or whimsical process, but a deeply intentional act rooted in the individual's unique experiences, insights, and aspirations. The Übermensch discerns and shapes their own values, which guide their actions and interactions, distinguishing themselves from those who uncritically follow external mandates. This act of value creation is emblematic of the Übermensch's autonomy. They do not merely adapt to the world, but seek to imprint their essence upon it, crafting a life that is a true reflection of their innermost being. This could manifest in various realms, from artistic expression to innovative scientific endeavors, where the individual's unique vision contributes novel perspectives and values to the broader tapestry of human culture. For example, in the realm of art, an Übermensch-like figure might challenge prevailing aesthetic norms, introducing new forms and styles that provoke thought and inspire change. In entrepreneurship, they might pioneer business models that prioritize ethical considerations and community engagement over traditional profit-driven motives, thereby reshaping industry standards. The Übermensch's value creation is not just a personal endeavor, but has a communal dimension. By introducing new values and paradigms, they challenge others to reflect, adapt, and grow, potentially elevating the collective consciousness and ethical standards of society. This process is dynamic and ongoing, reflecting the fluid nature of life and the constant evolution of human understanding and interaction. Through this lens, the Übermensch is a visionary, a trailblazer, who not only navigates their path but also lights the way for others. They embody the idea that individuals can be agents of change, not merely products of their environment. This concept encourages a proactive engagement with life, urging individuals to not just seek meaning, but to create it, shaping a world that reflects their deepest values and aspirations. It's a call to live with intentionality and purpose, to be architects of one's destiny, and to contribute to a more diverse, vibrant, and reflective human narrative. The Übermensch embodies the pinnacle of autonomy and independence, rejecting external impositions to forge a self-determined path. This concept is pivotal in Nietzsche's philosophy, underscoring the idea that true empowerment stems from an individual's ability to think, decide, and act based on their own values and convictions rather than being swayed by societal pressures, traditions, or dogmas. This autonomy is not about isolation or egocentrism, but about the freedom to align one's life with deeply held beliefs and values. The Übermensch navigates the world with a sense of self-governance, making choices that resonate with their authentic self, rather than conforming to external expectations. For instance, in choosing a career, the Übermensch would prioritize personal fulfillment and the expression of individual talents over societal status or financial gain. Independence in this context also involves critical thinking and self-reflection. The Übermensch continually questions conventional wisdom and societal norms, not out of contrariness, but to ensure that their actions are in harmony with their true self. This might involve challenging popular opinions, rejecting groupthink, or pioneering new ways of living that defy traditional boundaries. This independence is not static, but dynamic, evolving with the individual's growth and experiences. The Übermensch is always in a process of becoming, adapting, and refining their understanding and approach to life. This fluidity allows them to remain responsive to new insights and circumstances, ensuring that their autonomy is a reflection of an ongoing engagement with the world, rather than a rigid adherence to a predefined identity or path. 
The concept of the Ubermensch as an autonomous and independent being serves as a powerful call to self-actualization. It encourages individuals to live with integrity, courage, and authenticity, to embrace their unique journey, and to contribute their singular voice to the collective human experience. In doing so, the Ubermensch not only realizes their own potential, but also enriches the world around them, offering a model of living that is vibrant, meaningful, and deeply human. What are your thoughts on the idea of the Ubermensch? Let us know in the comments below and give this video a like if you enjoyed it.